front and rows too. The only difference here is to how to how you can communicate with the rows operating system or operating. Okay, this the next step. First step we have already done that we have installed ROS2 version. The second essential step that you build the PX4 flight controller at um, at your, any any of your uh, repository of your choice. So for this purpose, actually, I would recommend to go back to my another YouTube video tutorial. You can see in the link above or link below maybe. So uh, and I can also tell you that where you can find the instruction to do this. So you can just go to your so your tech partner de this is our vex workspace actually mm, where you can find a lot of um, very good tutorials we are continuously uploading the tutorial regarding the px4 instruction everything a blogs from our video tutorial here as an instruction to make it easy to just copy paste the code here so you can see here that uh, this is the basic in introduction of um this is the basic inst instructions for setting up the q ground ground control q ground control is very essential to manipulating and uh, managing your drone actually in the simulation in real world so for that purpose you need to change a little bit the user mode uh, and some file permission stuff which is very essential here here you can just uh, go through each and everything so for setting up actually you need to copy this command here in any terminal here for example i'm not gonna do this because i have done this already so you just uh, make sure that you write recursive recursive mean there they have some repository inside repository and inside repository because they have a lot more different repositories within the repositories and recursive is make, making sure that you just just install everything so secondly depend on what system you're working in how you're working uh, which version of the ubuntu and which version of um, rows and um, all different stuff um, you have to or uh, if you are uh, uh, running the px4 uh, source operating system and you're managing your drone from here you can uh, install this nutx otherwise we don't need it for now and make sure to restart the computer once and then actually you need to have some additional let's say like that um, additional uh, libraries actually to work with well great um, so uh, this step is same and uh, let's see how we can do this here if i just uh, ls here I have this px4 autopilot complete directory before the name of this directory were firmware but now they have changed the name to the px4 autopilot great then actually you supply this command here main px4 software in the loop and the software version we are using is gazebo classic on ubuntu 22 and higher version of ubuntu actually um, uh, the gazebo is uh, actually supporting uh, the higher version of gazebo but right now we have gazebo 10 or 11 maybe which is the classic version so we need to write specifically dash classic here to completely build over uh, workspace so it's gonna create all the plugin all the simulation plugin for uh, of px4 and everything in the directory in which you are right now so yeah Okay, it's gonna take some time. For me, it uh, has taken some time actually. The system, the system is not very good. So, after that, you should be able to see the build file. Uh, if I cd build. Well, great. Uh, you can see that PX uh, SILT default. So, um, default is the version that is actually default make but you, here you can make any type of model like holy pro px4 or any other crazy fly or whatever model so they have they're spotting a bunch of different um, different um, um, uh, drones and all other vehicles aerial and non-aerial vehicles so you can build for any specific device as well but here we are writing default but rather than if for example if our drone is some special drone we're gonna uh, write px4 in the name of our model of that drone and srlt is special for simulation only 
software in the loop and hardware in the loop are two type of different simulation. Um, we can work on gazebo and uh, all other things. So yeah. So we'll create so to run this we need to write this command right now. Okay, well great now we have done with the step number two, which is actually building the PX for um, building uh, build files or you know uh, the, the the firmware uh, for our specific drone. Uh, in our case it is simulation drone, but in your case it could be the hardware drone build. Now in step number three is that configuring the um, ROS communication with ROS2. So because ROS2 now um, has different method and all together different ways to communicate with uh, PX4. PX4 is primarily working on the Mavlink. Mavlink is the protocol on which actually the um, flight controller is built. So we need to communicate somehow. And the method now, right now in ROS2 is the XERCE DDS. So uh, we need to first see how that works. Um, uh, let's have a quick look into it, that how it works, and then uh, we're gonna install and configure ROS2 to communicate with this PX. So let's get started. So very quickly, first we need to see that how actually um, ROS2 is working. ROS2 working our communication with the uh, autopilot or controller stack is very straightforward. As you can see here, that um, this box here actually is PX4 autopilot, and this box here is the ROS2. ROS2 actually create ROS2 nodes. ROS2 works actually on the topic subscriptions and publication plus uh, services and client uh, style of communication. And client and server, you already know how client and server works. Uh, publisher actually only can publish a topic and you can listen to, or many other, uh, many listener can listen to that topic. But uh, regardless in client service mode, you can actually request for any service and server then actually uh, provide you that server and meanwhile you can wait for the reply from the uh, server side and until your server actually respond you your desired you know service you can wait or you can also work parallel so this is the big bit different but normally how ROS2 work is actually ROS2 actually create different uh, net of um, services client services and on top of that uh, it's actually a work parallel. So meanwhile, you can work as well and it's a send request. And it's also um, uh, keep track and complete traction of what you want to do and which node depend on which node and it's life cycle management. It's also additional and very efficient mechanism for managing and, uh, you know, communicating the nodes. So well, here is the node, as we can see. This is actually XRCE DDS, so it is nothing but it is actually open source uh, middleware. Middleware, you know what the middleware are. The middleware are normally sitting in between the any API, any programming language, and the computer hardware. There is in between communication that is converted into the zero one binary language, so that computer can easily understand that. So that thing is normally middleware. So in this case, uh, the DDS system are. Um, a fast CD or fast DDS, whatever we can call it, it is officially now called in ROS uh, in PX uh, upper uh, version uh, 1.14 version. They have shifted completely from the fast DDS to this XRCE agent. What this agent is doing, it is listening on specific port to the um, hardware of the autopilot here. And what autopilot is doing, autopilot is very simply create a client so this is again the server server client type of the uh, communication here they call it agent and they call here the, to this a client but it is actually very similar to server server client based communication so well this this server here actually is create generating a topic from actually core of the autopilot that what is the position of your drone? What is the orientation quaternion quart of your drone? What is the gyro sensor is saying? Is there any other sensor like combined flow optic sensor or any sensor that actually give you orientation of the environment in the drone or any aerial vehicle? So those are the built-in uh, you know uh, built-in uh, sensor on the on the on the drone. So basic sensor. Regardless, if you have some basic sensor, you can build on top like laser sensor, depth cameras, and all altogether different things on your drone. And uh, those 
topic everything you can manage in the um, autopilot is uh, through uh, via via topics so you get topic here topic comes here to the agent and agent throwing this topic to the rows to and rows to node can whatever they want to do so this is the very completely straightforward simple uh, mechanism so then let's see how we can install this and get a real communication